So there are times when you might want to restart your Skyview display um, for a number of reasons. One way to do that is to turn off the master, and then if you have the backup battery, you would say power off. But there's a quicker way. If you just press buttons one, two, and five at the same time, that will force a reset of your Skyview system. This works on Skyview HDX, Classic, Touch, and SE. Some pilots like flying with their map in track up mode, where the map is always pointed in the direction of flight. Others like flying in north up mode, where the map is like your paper map, where north is always on the top. With Skyview HDX, you don't need to choose. By just touching the north icon, we can alternate between the two quickly. Let's say you've just landed at an unfamiliar airport. If you have airport charts and data from one of Dynon's source partners, you can simply push and hold the knob that is designated for the map page and the airport chart will appear on the map screen. Your aircraft location will even be geosynced on the airport diagram so that you know exactly where you are. You can now zoom or pan just like you do on maps. When you're flying, you're probably used to using the nearest list to get information and to navigate to your nearest airports. But did you know that if you move the map around to somewhere else and touch there, now the nearest button will give you the nearest airports to where you have put the cursor. When you use the map to pan around to examine other airports and airspaces, there are two ways to recenter on the airplane once it's off the screen. One is to click the map knob. The other is to touch this message at the top of the screen. So let's say a flight condition has occurred where you need to quickly locate your heading bug to your direction of flight. Well, you can turn the knob until that happens, or you can simply push and hold, and you'll notice that the heading will sync up. The neat thing about this is it also works for both altimeter and barrel. I hope you found this quick tip helpful. Remember to share and subscribe. Airport information has always been an important part of flight planning and unfortunately, sometimes a frustrating part of in-flight information access. But the Dynon HDX makes access to this information easy, along with some features, like tuning your radio frequencies. If you go to the airport information page, you will notice that the airport information is displayed, along with this button, the APT to COM. If you touch the APT to COM button, you'll notice that the airport identifier now shows up in your control head. From here, you can tune the various frequencies like the tower, ATIS, ground, or ATC. By simply pushing in the tower button, you'll go to the latest tower. If there's multiple towers, you'll see different tower frequencies. From here, you can simply do a flip-flop, and now you're broadcasting on that frequency. Remember to like and share. Skyview HDX can give you quick access to many of the items that are normally available through a button push. Simply by touching the top bar, you can access the autopilot, transponder, or even radio. Remember to like and share our videos.